Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I'm still in the adventuring school in Nursh, and now we're gonna see how to play this game. This is a save point. No shit. At save points, you can also use tents and sleeping bags, and save the game. If your party should happen to be defeated in battle, you'll automatically restart from the last place you, used, you saved. Any gill or items you obtained will have to be found again, but your level and experience points total will not change. You can also save the game anywhere on the overworld map. Ah, that seems pretty neat. You still retain your level and experience even though you die. Viables are sometimes hidden in pots such as this one. Yeah, an ether, that's pretty valuable. It actually pretty it actually is, to be honest with ya. Make selections using the A button, cancel them with the B button. Press start to open the main menu. Funny, we've already played through this game and we should have got this school a lot sooner. Have you heard about relics? Relics can grant you a variety of abilities. For example, sprint shoes double your walking speed, a gauntlet lets you hold a weapon with both hands to increase damage, the knight's code makes you shield others in combat, Dragoon Boots allow you to perform jump attacks. A person can equip up to two relics at the same time. Potions may taste funny, but they also heal an injury. If you are hurt, drink one to restore some HP. Staying at an inn will completely heal your entire party. That's pretty obvious. If you play Final Fantasy games, you'd already know that. When selecting armor or weapons in a shop, symbols will appear next to characters that can equip them. An upward pointing triangle indicates an increase in attack or defense power. A downward pointing triangle indicates a decrease. Equal indicates no change. E means that the item is already equipped on that character. A symbol beneath a character means that person is currently in your party. Let me teach you how to ride a chocobo. Press the A button or up to go forward. Steer by left or right. Press the B button to dismount. Careful, the bird will return to its pen as soon as you leave the saddle. Hey, don't walk away from me. Alright, I already talked to you, so that was useless. Be careful, sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests. Such as this one. So yeah, ever since Final Fantasy II, they do put some monsters in treasure chests. But it's no big deal. It was just a silver lobo. Okay, we're done with this room. Eh, I don't know why I did that. We were, didn't take any damage. This is a school for the beginning adventurer. Despite all of our recent advances in technology, oh my, I already talked to you too. If you set the battle mode to wait in the config menu, you can take all the time you want to select spells or items in battle without having to worry about being attacked. Uh, is mine set to wait? I want to be 100% sure. Yep, it is. Good. The white numbers that appear during battle are damage points. Green numbers are recovery points. Hey, get out of my way. Status effects are represented by different colors. Blue is Reflect, spells are reflected back at enemies. Yellow Protect, defense is increased. Green Shell, magic defense is increased. Red Haste, speed is increased. White Slow, speed is decreased. Pink Stop, time is frozen. That's all you need to know about status effects that are colored. Damage received by characters in the back row is halved, but so is the attack power of those characters. To change rows from the main menu, press left, then select a character and press the A button twice. Uh, cool. Damage is more severe when enemies have you surrounded, especially if your back is to the one attacking. Uh, nothing in that pot. When the battle menu appears, press left or right to select row or defend. Row moves the character from the front row to the back, or vice versa. Defend cuts receive damage in half, and lasts until the character's next turn. When selecting the target for a spell, press the L or R button to target all enemies or allies. Turn meters are located in the lower right-hand corner of the battle screen. 
When a character's turn meter becomes full, you will be able to enter battle commands for that character. Press select to skip to the next character without entering a command. You can run for most battles by holding down both the L and R buttons. Not that I'd be running much, but in some situations I might have to. Ah, another sleeping bag. Good. You might find this room more useful after you gain some experience out in the world. A lot of the things you'll hear in here might not feel like might make much sense until you've gotten your feet wet. Please, I played a lot of Final Fantasy games. I'm going to the advanced tactics. Shall I teach you about status effects? Invisibility, physical attacks will miss you, but spells will always strike true. You revert to normal if hit by magic. Imp prevents you from using special skills and magic. Zombies, attack friend, and foe alike, only holy water can reverse the status. If your skin is ashen, your HP is zero, and you're still moving, there's a good chance you're a zombie. Sleep and confusion. These status ailments are cancelled when the character is attacked. Yeah, that's cool. Image status creates illusionary images of a character, making it difficult for enemies to hit the character. Fire, ice, and lightning are the three principal elements. They are represented by the fires, the spells Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder, respectively. The Reflect spell remains active for only a short time and will not reflect lore magic. Allow me to explain a few of the specialized battle commands. Runic absorbs magic and turns it into MP. Runic remains active until a spell is absorbed or another battle command is given. Trance boosts attack and magic. The duration increases as more battles are fought. Dance and Rage. Once selected, these commands are used continuously until the end of battle. Re-Raise automatically revives a character if KO'd. Regen, regen gradually restores a character's HP. Undead creatures such as ghosts are damaged by curative spells and items. That's cool, I already know that. Bushido techniques take time, take time to master. New ones will be learned over time. Desperate times can bring out strength you never knew you had. Critically wounded characters may occasionally perform powerful hidden techniques when you select attack. Oh, so it's pretty much a desperation move. And I get a potion. Alright, oh, I already talked to you. Move. Something to note about the Reflect spell. Reflect doesn't block spells that have already been reflected once. You can use this to your advantage. Cast Reflect on an ally, and cast attack spells on that same person to bounce them at an enemy. Get it? That actually works well on bosses or enemies that have reflex status. Put it on one of your allies, use the spell on that ally, and it'll bounce back and hit the enemy, reflex status or not. There, I explained it a lot better than that guy. Okay, safe to say we will not be able to get into Narsh because they're still looking for Terra. Our destination is to the south, to the desert. So let's go. Luckily, those little dot over there in the southwest corner of where we're to right now is a good indicator of where we should head. Okay, here's our first new enemies in the Outer World. Leaf Bunny and Dark Wind. Of course, those enemies are pretty damn weak. Incisors. Okay, that's just Leaf Bunny's tougher attack. No big deal. Ah, Terra gained a level and learned Poisona. So now she can remove poison if inflicted. Come to think of it, I forgot to put that Mithril knife on lock. Terra already has one, so... There we go. Hmm... Yeah, I think I'm gonna let her use Cure. Gotta go to Abilities, then Magic. And there. Luckily, Cure only costs 5 MP. Oh, we just landed on the desert. And here's a couple new enemies. Well, well, one of them's a new enemy, you just fight more of it. Sand Ray. The enemies in the desert are a lot tougher than in the forest. So hopefully, you got plenty of potions. There we go. 
Okay, we're almost at Figaro Castle. It's in our sights now. There it is. Ah, we made it. Halt! Oh, it's you. Proceed. Ah, so apparently the people of the castle know me. Or at least they know Locke. Alright, let's just hang out for a bit. Go and speak to the king. Yeah, I'm guessing I have to go speak to the king. Alright, I'll do that. Okay, let's see what's in here. Before we talk to the king, we might as well just hang around and see what we can find. There's a gold needle. I believe that removes petrification. Yeah, it does. Okay, looks like I can buy some stuff, too. Uh, let's see, I don't have any antidotes, so I'll buy that. Uh, potions would be a good idea to invest in, so I'll buy 11. Uh, ethers you can buy, but they're very expensive. That sucks. Like, 1,500 gil, just to get something that'll restore 50 MP. Talk about a ripoff. Maybe I should buy some more antidotes, too. There, that, that's better. But at least we made it to Figaro Castle with only one enemy encounter in the desert. I believe there was another enemy, too, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, tools, eh? Uh, let's see... I don't think I'm gonna buy any of those yet. So, we'll deal with that later. Get a potion and an antidote. What's over here? Looks like this could be the top of the castle. There's a phoenix down. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was the roof of the castle. Okay, so the throne room should be in here. Now, as far as the tools go, only Edgar can use them, and he's the king. Hey, what's up? You mean, this young woman is? Who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady on our very first meeting. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally and champion of the technological revolution. And he's also a womanizer. Edgar is his name. I am Edgar, the King of Figaro. Heh, surprised that someone like me knows a king? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I'll catch you two later. Where's he gone off to? So, you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here for as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my... abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your... abilities would rank a distant third. Heh, <laughs> he said third. What's the matter? Guess my technique's getting a bit... rusty. Yeah... Hmm... I suppose a normal girl would have felt something from those words. But, not me. Uh-huh. Well... I guess if I'm going to, I might as well... get some tools. I think that Edgar already has a crossbow. Yeah, apparently we already got one stocked. Noise Blaster and Bio Blaster, however... We don't have. Confuses all enemies with a blast of sound. It's kind of like Confuser from Terra's Magi Tech armor. And Bio Blaster deals poison, damage, and sap status to all enemies. That's pretty good to have, too. So there, now we got Edgar three tools instead of just one. Okay, where should I go next? I believe I should go rest. You wouldn't know by looking at it, 
But this castle is loaded with advanced technology. For example... Whoops! <laughs> it's all top secret. Oh, that was pointless. Figaro has an alliance with the Empire. Yeah, I'm well aware of that. And you already told me. Rest for a bit? Yeah, I'll do that later. First, I'm gonna look around a bit more. Look around this way. Let me check out the left wing. Hey, Chocobo! This is Figaro, the desert castle. Really? I thought it was in France. I'm just finding this out now. Thanks. Edgar has a twin brother, you know? He was such a nice boy, always thinking of his family. Oh, it looks like we're getting a flashback. There he is. Edgar! What's wrong with Dad? Why is everyone talking about successor? Are you blind? Haven't you seen how thin his face has become? What do you mean? Edgar! I guess he doesn't want to talk about it. Are you... Crying? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Ah, and that's Sabin there. Or Savin. Whatever you want to call him. He's basically the tough guy of the group. Ah, yes. Sabin. I'm sure he's a fine young man by now. He was just a boy when he left. Even smaller than his brother. I have to wonder where he is now, and what he's doing. Hey, what's up? His Highness said he married me when I get old enough. I'm sure he says a lot of things. Damn it, Edgar, you womanizer going after kids. The Castalian Empire has already overthrown all three of the other nations on the southern continent. It's only a matter of time before they make their way up here. Uh, the three nations to the south, that would be Albrook, Zen, and Miranda. They're over on that island to the south. The Empire's castle is in a place called Vector. We'll probably go into those places much later in the game. Uh, maybe I should go check out the right wing, too. Figaro Castle is the most advanced structure in the world. Yeah, it seems that way. You got a whole lot of air conditioning. God, even on the roof. Roofs. Scholars all over the world are studying magic, but you can only learn so much without s about something without seeing it. Ah, uh, really? Good for you. The ancients once wielded a force known as magic. Those who mastered the arts were called magi. Hmm, so I'm guessing... That, you know, they started learning magic, they became magi, and a whole world started going haywire. Seems nobody lately has been able to use magic except for Terra. Magic seems to have been gone for a while. The advanced weapons and other items we manufacture here are shipped to South Figaro. Oh uh, yeah, we'll probably be going there later too. Seems like everywhere there's a place where you tend to go there. Alright, I think I've seen all I need to see. I'll probably need to rest. Matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna go do. So let me head back, and this time I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah, I'll rest. Ah, so comfy. Huh? You two are not gonna sleep with me? Our king showers his attention on women. Young, old, pretty, or plain. No one is safe. <laughs> That's Edgar, alright. Not too long ago, the king tried to hit on the high priestess. Oh, did she ever let him have it? I'm sure he's made a pass or two at you already, hasn't he? No comment. Okay, wait, why am I going this way? I'm supposed to head back to the throne room and see Edgar again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go do that in the next part, okay? I'm gonna stop here. Stay tuned for the next part. Goodbye.